हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड वोल्टेज डिवाइडर बाय अस लोड लाइन एंड क्यू पॉइंट टू अंडरस्टैंड द लोड लाइन एंड क्यू पॉइंट लेट अस कंसीडर द आउटपुट साइड ऑफ वोल्टेज डिवाइडर बाय अस नाउ लेट अस अप्लाई केवीएल टू द आउटपुट साइड of voltage divided by us so if we apply the kvl it will be vcc minus icrc minus vce minus iere will be equal to 0 so if we apply kvl to the output side of voltage divider by us we will get vcc minus icrc minus vce Minus I E R E is equal to zero. From this, we can write V C C is equal to I C R C plus V C E plus I E R E. So we can write the above equation as V C C is equal to I C R C plus V C E. Plus I C R E, since I E is approximately equal to I C, so we have replaced I E with I C in this equation. So if we take I C as common in above equation, we will get V C C is equal to I C into R C plus R E plus V C E. let us call this as equation number 1 we can draw the dc load line by considering the output characteristics of voltage divider bias to draw the output characteristics we will take vce in x axis and ic in y axis now we need to find two points on vce and ic so these two points is known as vce maximum which will be at cut off region and ic maximum which will be at saturation region so output current and output voltage maximum values now if we want to find the point on x axis we need to take ic as zero and if we want to find the point on y axis we need to take vce as zero in equation number 1 let us put ic is equal to 0 in equation number 1 if we put ic is equal to 0 in equation number 1 we'll get vce is equal to vcc so this is the point on x axis so on x axis we need to mark a point that value will be equal to vcc now to find a point on y axis we'll put vce is equal to 0 in equation number 1 if we put vce is equal to 0 in equation 1 we'll get vcc is equal to ic into rc plus re therefore we'll get ic is equal to vcc divided by rc plus re so this is the point on y axis so on y axis we can mark a point that will be equal to vcc divided by rc plus re once we mark a point on x axis and y axis we need to draw a straight line joining these two points this straight line is known as dc load line the line joining two maximum points is known as dc load line so we can say a straight line drawn between the maximum output voltage and maximum output current is known as dc load line now we need to know what is a q point or operating point or bias point 
or quiescent point. So Q point is the point on output characteristics that shows VCE and IC. Always you need to remember this Q point should be in the middle of the load line. So we can mark a point at middle of this load line and we can call that point as Q point or operating point or bias point or quiescent point. From this Q point if we draw a vertical line and horizontal line so we will get the value of VCE at Q point and the value of IC at Q point. So if we say this Q point is at the middle of the load line which means this Q point is at active region. So if this Q point moves below towards X axis then the transistor will move to cutoff region and if this Q point moves towards IC on the load line then the transistor will move into saturation region. This is about voltage divider bias load line and Q point. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.